and he we could be like, well, any size. <clears throat> like if you went into a room, you could be sizing someone up. Yeah. Yeah, for a fight. Yeah, but not necessarily just in general. Like size and stereotype. <laughs> Irish, a little bit racial there. <laughs> he was out, he must have been fighting. He is, he is Irish. Uh, what is you uh, I came on like we said, I came on your podcast, you mm-hmm. taught me about this, but for for our listeners, what is a chicken fillet roll? It's what oh, keeps the students and the apprentices of Ireland going, the tradesmen, the builders. Yeah. Like, do you have Cuisine de France rolls? What? They're, a baguette. A, yes, we, we have baguettes. <laughs> right. baguette. Are you his translator? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's slightly less country than I, I am, like 5% right. less. Yeah. I kind of like Jose Marino when he first came and had like a translator with him. That's, right. That's uh, yeah. like a baguette. <laughs> <laughs> Butter or mayonnaise, hot breaded chicken, and then bits from the deli, be it your lettuce or Jeez, whatever coleslaw. You want Cheese, That's whatever. And it's banging. You get it four or five quid, and it's the lunch of students, of builders, in out and quick. us. And us, yeah. Did, did you, do you remember when we went to the service station in, in Ireland? I was really hung over that day. And there was, Fee, do you remember this? You could get everything there. Mm. I think I got a roll with like sausage, bacon, and beans. And, well, yeah, it's or, a breakfast roll. Yeah. 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 Unreal. Oh, like, and every service station has that everywhere you go. Yeah. That's why, like, over here, when Irish people move here, they're like, why the fuck do people eat pies? Mm. Show me they're, they're they're not even like the pies how do you the even one, eat a pie. They're the one thing we don't do. <laughs> yeah, don't we do don't pies. do. We don't no, really no. do pies. No. Irish people come over here and just start freaking out. Like, there's a place pies? in there's a place in Tooting here. Is it yeah. Tooting? Yeah. How do you say it? Tooting? Yeah, yeah. That, probably, yeah. that does chicken you're, rolls. You're not far off. That does chicken rolls. Does it? So really? the Irish people are like getting like six trains to get there to get a chicken roll. Yeah, we we like we did on our podcast. We were like where like. Where are those chicken rolls that we can mm. let Irish people know? And they were like, there's a place in Tooting. I go there every Saturday, four trains. Yeah. Wow. Go over there, Good get Irish roll. food, a baguette, a southern fried chicken, yeah. lettuce, a taco sauce, all this stuff that's not Irish. Yeah. 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 Put it together. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are the Irish really that lucky? <sighs> yeah. We're lucky enough. Yeah. See, I think that comes from like Irish people who go abroad. Like we've we've been to America and stuff like that, and you meet Irish people there who are like fucking anywhere. Yeah, mm. and we're like, what what mm. what are you doing? And they're like, oh, I run a property company. Jesus, like, do you do that in college? Just be like, no, nah. <laughs> just came out here and just kind of start doing it, and now <laughs> now I'm a millionaire. Yeah. Like, there's a thing called an Aer Lingus carpenter, right? Where like Aer Lingus, the, 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 I know the, the, I know the yeah, airline, yeah, yeah, yeah. The airline. Yeah. So they just get on that, and then by the time they land, they're a carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they would just make it up. Read pretty much just like read a book on the way over be like uh, and then you get to America they're like what do you do I'm a carpenter you qualified yeah grand away you go and then like they'll just I think Irish people have the gift of the gap that's right. probably more so than look yeah I think like you make your own look a bit but we do have like I'll just start off here like Cancel. I don't know how to yeah. do it but I'll, I'll, that's a great way to explain it though yeah it's a great way to explain yeah. it I, and I think people like the Irish like if I go to America they're like oh you English <laughs> the English feel that way about you though. Yeah. <laughs> Just everyone that's ever listened to five minutes of this. Yeah. Okay, let's do the next one. Who is your man? Your man like. Your man, your, man your woman. Yeah. Your one. What's that? Like, if it was somebody we came in and met the security guard and didn't know his name, and we'd be like, oh Jesus, your man gave me some dirty look coming in. Oh. Yeah. But why are you saying, so if Smack said that... Oh, it's not his man. But it it's sounds just, like you're saying it's your man. Yeah, not like Americans would say, it's your boy. Yeah. Not like that at all. Oh, yeah. it's not. It's no. more like your man. Y- Y-E-R, like your man out there. So it's just a way to say about someone whose name you yeah, don't know. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. I had a mate from Essex who used to say matey boy. So you ask matey boy over there. That's a bit that's, weird, that's is it? it? Yeah. Is that, weird? <laughs> is that I don't know. Is that okay? I don't know if that's just the Essex equivalent to your man. It might be. Yeah. 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 When we don't know someone's name, like, and it could be your man, and then any adjective, like, so it's like your man in the suit, your man with the head, oh. your man with the arms. But it can be. It's not positive or negative. It's no. Just, yeah. It's just, way of, it's just your man. Right. Yeah. So go on. Women would be one. Your one. W a n like one. Your one. Your yeah. one. You're one out on the computer. That sounds Jamaican. <laughs> a bit, yeah. You're one. Well, I'm one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what would you say then? Because you wouldn't say your man. You wouldn't say matey boy. The guy. Guy over there. Fella. <laughs> creative. That, the that, guy over that there. That one. Look at well, that guy over there. Well, why have I got to be there. creative? I'm trying to explain him. 
I'll go him. See that? <laughs> that guy. See that? that fella. Guy. Irish people, if there's a way of describing it without having to actually say it, that's what we're after. Right. Mm. Can you teach us some more slang words? So, like, banjaxed. Banjaxed. Right, let's guess what it is. Let's guess. Banjax. 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 Oh, uh, you doofus, you big idiot. What? No, so, like, if you if you were injured or broken. Something's broken. So, it, like, if your laptop was broken, we'd say, laptop's absolutely banjaxed. That sounds harder than just saying that's broken. Yeah, I know, but that's also we're difficult. That. Yeah. We've had it's a phone working. for 100 yeah, years. We're only, we're only getting to know ourselves. <laughs> we're working with an English producer on a project now. And it's so funny. He says the most. Eng- Here's my impression of an English person. Right? Let's crack on. <laughs> <laughs> These are the things that Irish people don't say. It's nice. And then one day someone said to him, "Cop on." And he'd never heard that. We've cop not on. heard that. Is, it, is that when you kiss someone, you cop on with them? No. No. It's just like if. You- <laughs> 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 no way I mean, uh, <laughs> I can see why you might think that. But if he if he was throwing a tantrum and you wanted to get start the podcast, you'd be like, "Come on, cop on." Never heard it. Just yeah. get on with it. Never heard it. it. Like people from Belfast would say, catch yourself on. Like if you, you, were, you were throwing a hissy fit, like, yeah. catch yourself on. Come on. Really? Yeah, cop nah. On. And you said you didn't know let's crack on, but you say great crack. Yeah, C-R-A-I-C. Crack. It's an actual Irish word. Yeah. <clears throat> great crack. And that means good laugh. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so the Geordies have robbed that. Right. They'd okay. be going like, yeah, like, you know, it's, it's good crack. Okay. Did they say that? Yeah. And that, be, that mm. would be like, ours good, like, good crack, good fun. Okay. Like, yeah. any, any other slangs? Slangs. <laughs> uh, boys at home would say sizing. Sizing. Like size, you know, like a measure yeah. of size. Sizen. But if you went out last night and he, we could be like, well, any size. <clears throat> like if you went into a room, you could be sizing someone up. Yeah. Yeah. For a fight. Yeah. But not necessarily, just in general. Like sizing. That's a stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> Irish. A little bit racial there. <laughs> He was out. He must have been fighting. He is, he is Irish. He said no. he's called Smacks for a reason. I know. Um, okay. Um, next one. Seven up is a medicine. Yeah. You don't have seven up here, do you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you do. Yeah. It's just a drink. No, lemonade. It's lemonade. Is it? Hon- honestly, like doctors would be like, just go home, pawn a pair of socks, have some flat seven up. Oh, flat like, as well. Oh, you'd have like I don't know the science behind it. Mm. It's 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 up there. I like don't know if there is any, there, there probably isn't. Probably but like genuine. If you little. have like flu, yeah, flat seven up. If you're if you're sick, like yeah. flat seven up. Six Diarrhea, nine. flat seven up. There's nothing in Ireland that can't be fixed with flat seven up. And another one is sudocream. You have that? Yeah, my yeah. that my granddad will tell me. Yeah, I could get. I can get terminally ill and it'll yeah. say whack a bit of pseudocream yeah. on it. Eight yeah. stitches, like you could mm. be just burst it open. Yeah, a bit of pseudocream. I yeah, think, we have that. I think the Seven Up thing comes from maybe in the eighties and nineties, Ireland had no other fizzy drink, fizzy drinks, and so it was a way of like have something sugary to pep you up. Uh, okay, I think. Okay, all right, that makes sense. We'll try it next time. I'm really sick. People put oh, it yeah. purely go seven up. Yeah, put yeah. it in the microwave. My mother would yeah. maybe like if I warm would, seven up, warm yeah, seven up, warm yeah. seven up. Yeah. You like that? Not necessarily. <laughs> no, right, yeah. We read that nobody in Ireland has road rage. Apparently, if you're just stuck behind a slow car, you'll just deal with it. Just keep going. We're so used to tractors, under, especially where we're from. Like, we live, like yeah. you know, if you're planning a journey somewhere, like you're you're going to be stuck behind a tractor or something. So, what's the, <laughs> no one's ever it. in a rush, really, like as well. Ah, just, although I heard, I read a survey that said Dublin had the fastest walkers in Europe. <laughs> They do this thing so they can put like a speed camera at one here, here and then another one 100 meters away. And they did it in like 10 or 15 European cities. And Dublin people walk really fast, apparently. So whether that plays He's into doing, your... Why is someone doing that study? Oh, students, man, colleges. <laughs> someone, a scientist have said. Yeah. <laughs> no, road, road rage is definitely down. Oh, like, oh. like we've driven in America. Oh, yeah, different ballgame. Freaking out. Because like. we live out the country, we have a salute. Like, if I'm driving and I see him, I'll be like that, right? One finger. One finger. Well, it depends how well you know them. If you, if know you see them, me now, you... you. I give you a, what we call the scan. Like that. In the car. In the car, yeah, like up against the windscreen, like that. Scan. A you, flick of the hand. Yeah. yeah. Like a trucker's wave, I think is what he Like used. you're trying to get water off your hand. Yeah. 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 Well, lad. Well, and you just get, and you keep it there after. Yeah. yeah. Hold it up to the screen. And even, <laughs> if you lived in like a rural place, even if, if you saw somebody that you didn't even know, like if you bumped into someone in the corridor, you might be like, oh, "Oh yeah," you would actually like 
people driving past each other would wave at each so other, even though they don't yeah. know That's each other. That's really polite. That's really polite. What yeah. if you're just passing loads of cars? But it's out the country. You won't pass that many. Oh, okay. Yeah. People, yeah. But people would be like that. One finger saluting each other. Supermax is only acceptable when drunk. Oh, Supermax is like um, Irish McDonald's. Mm. It's just a fast food joint. But it's, it's called not Supermax. McDonald's. It's not McDonald's, no, it's, Irish, it's called yeah. Supermax, yeah. Do you have McDonald's? Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, no, we have McDonald's Burger King all in, but Supermax will be our Irish version. Mm. So I would say it's better than McDonald's. I actually right prefer, yeah, prefer it's McDonald's. Oh, really? Unbelievable goujons. Yeah, good chicken. Supermax. We've been trying to get them to sponsor us for years. Pat, <laughs> if you're listening. Uh, have they not yet? No. It looks haven't. nice. That's good, yeah. It is nice to do, like, taco chips. And do, do you do snack, snack box? What? We have snack box. be very popular. So like you can get pieces at, of chicken. You can get them at KFC. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 They brought but that Irish people love to put an unnecessary H in. Call it like a snack box. Snack. <laughs> oh, we love that. Irish people love saying that. Snack box. Snack. Stick. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. 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 Okay. And and what and what what was the what was the rumor uh, is only acceptable when drunk. No, oh. it's definitely acceptable when drunk, but it's it's like I'd have that sober. Oh, it's good tack, yeah. Is, is this kind of like your equivalent to like a kebab? Yeah, we have we, like we have kebabs as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're eight years old, isn't it? <laughs> Do you have kebabs? Yeah, we got them. It's, this is like we're a pen palace. Yeah. It's just like in my country we have kebabs. <laughs> <laughs> sandwiches must have crisps in them. Potato sandwiches. So have you had potatoes? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it. Just two slices of bread, bit of butter, get it down, bang it down. Potato sandwich. Taste a little bit like our cheap walkers. It's like they're, walk- they're, they're better than walkers, Stevie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saying like we like in Asda and Tesco, all those shops, you can get like their own version. Oh, potatoes yeah, yeah, are yeah, quite yeah. similar to those. Yeah. I like you guys and I want you guys to like us, but <laughs> I I think they're shit. You don't like potatoes? You don't like potatoes. No. Where would you would you say they're better than Walkers? I'm not a big crisp man now. Are you not? No. I would say Walkers have more texture. Okay. I would, say, less they're, flavor? I would say they're thicker cut. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. Would, I would definitely say that. But I, I like I like potato sandwiches. Stand up for it. That's my yeah. What do you will you, you go any flavor in a sandwich? Oh no, it just has to be cheese and onion. Has to be cheese. Yeah. See, mine has to be nah, really salted you, for nah, me. Nah, really salted crisp in a sandwich. That's bland. Don't mess with that Jack. You don't mess yeah. with cheese and onion, man. All day. No, I do I ham and cheese and onion. Like ham, mm, actual ham. A couple of slices of ham. Yeah, yeah a couple of slices of ham, cheese and onion. You're I feel like these boys are liking you more than me now. Can you fucking pipe down a little bit? All right, two more. The Irish goodbye. Yeah. Now, yeah. this is something I use. Jack's never heard the never phrase heard before. Never heard of it in my life. But I say it, like, if someone just leaves mm. without saying goodbye, yeah. they've Irish goodbyed us. I am. Um, you is, do that. Is yeah, that a well-known thing? That, yeah, I'll leave you there. I will leave you there. Oh, yeah. No problem. So sinister. where you are. Last weekend. He did it to me and James. What, you just well, got I got and, sick of myself last week. Why do you not say you got sick? I am myself. <laughs> I went outside. I was like, I think I need a bit of air. And then I was like, I had hiccups really bad in right. the pub to the point of like, sometimes small things would like make me real, like been like, keep having hiccups. That's wrecking my head now. And I'd let it like eat me alive. I'd be in the pub and like, oh, I'm crack. So I went outside. I was like, I'll try and, do you know what they say? You should try and frighten yourself. <laughs> have you heard uh, it? Yeah, you yeah, hiccups, yeah. Right? Oh, so I went outside right. and just went like, <gasps> <laughs> right? A couple of times I did this, and then the last time I did it, I was like, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. and then I was like, I need to go home. Oh, maybe I'm no. Drunk. Maybe I'm drunk. I think that's a fair enough reason to leave. Yeah, yeah. So, so, and you don't tell anyone when you leave. So, an Irish goodbye is literally, so I, I did it in like Sydney. I was like, I need to ring my missus. And the wife's like, oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, I should go pop outside, just ring her for a sec. Outside, bang, taxi. Um, Why is this? Why do you do this? You see, Irish people don't want to let other Irish people go home. So if it, so let's take last weekend. If I went back into Johnny and James, who we were out with, and I said, boys, I'm going to head away now. I've had enough. It wouldn't be just like, yeah, no bother. We'll see you in the morning. It'd be, don't, stop being a pussy. Like, don't, don't go yeah. home. We're out now. We're staying out. Right. So, so like, people don't want to tell each other they're going home. Because uh, no one will just a let A nice go home. bit of Irish bullying. <laughs> yeah. Right. Keep him out. Yeah. Right. It's like, stay out now. We're all staying out. Yeah, so, come on. <laughs> so it's easier to just disappear. 